Hello everyone. Welcome to Abacus class. Today we are going to discuss about division concepts in Abacus. In this video, we are going to learn about what is divisions and how the divisions are going to be do on Abacus in a very effective manner. For this, uh, we are going to learn what is division and how this division concept apply in Abacus. We are going to learn a few things before going into the session. I believe you have been through my videos of addition, subtraction and multiplication concepts of Abacus in my playlist. Okay. If uh, you didn't been through my videos so far, please go to my channel or I will try to put in the description on all the videos, playlists and links to learn further levels like a multiplication and division. You need to have a strong command on addition and subtraction concepts of Abacus. So it is a mandatory to learn addition and subtraction concepts of single digit, double digit and triple digits. And uh, then only it will be very helpful for you to understand this division concepts. Now everyone concentrate. What is division? Division is nothing but distribution of a group of things into equal parts. That is called division in general arithmetical language. Okay. Now let's identify what are all the components are there in division. We have components like dividend, divisor, quotient and reminder. These are the four concepts will be there in division. Now, like in multiplication, we also place these dividend divisor quotient in a appropriate place in the abacus tool. Let's find out how we are going to place this um, in real time abacus. And be before going into the real time calculation on abacus, let us understand one important table content on division concepts. Okay. Now, if you observe here, this is a basic understanding proforma of divisions. Okay. Please, everyone, take your book and pen or pencil and make a note whatever I am going to say right now. Okay. Here, if you observe in application part, if you are dividing with one's place, the answer that is nothing but quotient. Quotient has to be position in one's place only. Okay. If you are doing division with tens place number, the quotient has to be placed in tens place only. Okay. Understood. Don't get confused. This is the same method what you are applying in your regular uh, school method only. Okay. If you are doing uh, division concepts, you have a dividend and divisor. If the dividend one's place is dividing with a divisor, okay, whatever the answer that is quotient, it has to be placed in one's place only. Okay. So the same way, if you are doing a division with tens place, the answer that is quotient has to be placed in tens place only. And here comes very interesting part. If there are two digits, ones place and tens place. Okay, listen carefully. If there are two numbers, ones place and tens place, both numbers you are combining doing a division. Now, whatever the answer that is quotient, it has to be placed in one's place only. Okay. And like that, 
if you are doing a division of hundreds place you have to place the answer in hundreds place only here the now observe here if you are doing a division with uh, hundreds place and thousands place you have to place the quotient that is answer in hundreds place you have to remember one thing in division if if you are doing divisions with two digit number you have to place the uh, quotient in a least denomination place for example if you see if we are division of hundreds place and thousands place what is the least denomination over here hundreds place you have to place the answer in hundreds place only and see on the same way if you are doing in only thousands place then you can put it in the thousands place itself but if you are doing problem in thousands place and 10000s place the answer should be placed in thousands place only okay likewise we are going to see in a real time scenario now everyone observe this we have an abacus tool let's take a small example please concentrate here we are supposed to place dividend divisor and quotient right now choose one place for placing dividend okay let's take an example of 15 15 is the dividend assume another number as a divisor take it as a 5 okay choose one more place one's place so we have uh, successfully placed dividend divisor and what is the balance quotient consider this units place as a place for the answer quotient okay few more problems in next coming video